Fire drill, fire drill. <laughs> We, pretty we, used to this yeah we were like firemen yeah like firemen um literally i just uploaded a tales from trip like what five minutes ago mm -hmm. and uh and i found a car and it's like whoop becky sorry we gotta go right uh i just found a car it's about an hour and a half away and uh this is a really rare japanese car really really cool wait till you see this thing but uh so we're gonna jump on the road and it's a driver it, it better drive so this is another driving adventure. So let's go out here and uh, let's see what's in the driveway. Let's see what we want to take to drive. Mila, what are you doing? Sit, sit. She's like, when do I get to go on Tales from the Trip Adventures? A good traveler. I know, this is just not fair. <laughs> You're a good dog. All right, you never know. So Becky's loading the, uh, loading the uh, hay burners up <laughs> for the winter. Uh, got some, Got the car, so the car trailer. Good thing we don't need the car trailer because you got hay on it. You'd be unloading hay before we left. I know, right? <laughs> so there's the 600, but you know what? I got this thing out to drive it this weekend and it's a road trip. I mean, if that isn't a road trip car, I don't know what is. So what do you think, babe? 76 Thunderbird Glamour Edition? Why not? Why not? Oh man, let's go. All right, that was pretty quick. Out of the house, buckled in on the road. Yep. How are the horses doing? They, they've had their breakfast, so they're just what? They're just uh, lounging, lounging, we're finding a place in the shade. Uh, yeah. I had saw all this car last night, actually, and I messaged the guy. And, you and your late night shopping. And you and know, I late night shopping, and yeah. then so he uh, he messaged me back uh, the VIN number this morning and his phone number, and you know, because I had to make sure it's legit or whatever, but. But uh, so I got off the phone with him and I said, man, this looks like a legit car. I, I ain't even shaved or nothing. It's like, let's go fire drill, <laughs> throw on our, throw on our fire, fire pants and go. Yeah. So having fun here, rolling in the uh, Emerald T-Bird. This thing is super duper cool. So kind of fun. I just filled it up. Yeah. So we got a full tank of gas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what, see how far we get. <laughs> Be, it's only an hour and a half away. We may not. We have to be right, refuel. Tanks of gas that we'll take to get there. has got the big 460 big block in it. Yeah. But oh, it anyway, excited, style. excited about this one, you guys. Um, so next, next stop. Actually, this car was uh, bought brand new in Hutchison, Kansas. Wow. So not very far away. So it's been in Kansas all the Exactly. Block. It's cool. in Hutchison, Kansas, and it's yeah. just and uh, this gentleman's had it for about four years, and he got it from an estate. And, uh, and he's in Bueller, Kansas. So that's just outside of Hutchison. And uh, so really excited to see this car because it's basically, a, it's a one owner, well, two owner with him, right. you know, and, uh, but it sounds like a really cool car and it's rare. Um, yeah, wait till you see this thing. You're, you're gonna dig it. All right, we have arrived. Oh, there it is right there, Becky. Well, yep, Check it out. Sure enough. Check this out, everybody. 86 Mazda 626 Turbo Coupe with a manual transmission and 50,000 miles. When's the last time you seen one of those things? Dude, I don't even know if I've seen Jeez. one in a day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and park on the street here because yeah. uh, we're going to want to go take it for a spin. That's gorgeous. Look at the wheels. Yeah, it's neat. Well, we are here. Let's go check this car out. Okay. How's it going? Good. This is the Mazda, huh? That's it. <laughs> How you doing? About coming, James. Nice James, to nice to meet you, James. Here it is, huh? Little '86. You know, I hardly even see these back in the day. You know what I mean? As far yeah. as you know, like a coupe. You know, there's a ton of '66 sedans, but you just didn't see any coupes. Yes. Little stuff on it. Even a little walk around here. Yep. So you, You've had it about four years, you said? Yep, but it's just been sitting in a garage. <laughs> and what was the, where did you find the car? A buddy of mine found it. He worked for the, the company that had it in their estate. Oh, okay. What do you think the story is on this thing? Who knows, huh? So it, it was, was they bought it new. Yeah, I looked at the Carfax and it came from uh, Hutchison. You know what I mean? And yep. uh, it looked like it spent its whole life there, basically. Yep, it did, it did. And uh, looks really, <laughs> it's, a, it's a survivor, isn't it? You uh, put new tires on it? I did put tires. Uh, here's a, just 
split. I told right, you that right. Like interiors really oh good. yeah, I mean the sun always these, goes through. These look like they've been sprayed. These plastics, because the uh -huh. machine's a little different. Right. Look at this, Becky. Right there. <laughs> Your finger. Spot. I told you that your finger clip. It's, yeah. still, it's still in there, but right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, geez, I wish that's all I had on. Yes, I, I, I wish all, that's all the dings <laughs> that I had on me after, exactly. after you know, 35 years, right? <laughs> and I put some wax on it, and, it, and I didn't get it cleaned off. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. Do, I didn't do it. I was going to have a detail. Yeah, when yeah. I was going to do it, the wife was going to drag it. And <laughs> I just never did. Oh, yeah. But now, yeah, the pink. It looks good. That like said, you know, yeah, it's got dings some. and dimples on it and stuff. Pop the hood. Look at that. That <laughs> turbo. Yeah, you got the look at that original, original hood there. Yeah, the radiator looks good. Usually, you know, these things will start to get corroded. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's weird because. It looks like an original radiator, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. Some of the old oil change stickers. Yeah, like I said, it just needs a little bit of love, a little bit of detail, a yep. little yep. bit of recon. Somebody got it right there. Yeah, I see. I that. think from shutting the hood in my bed. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're better off just to, to drop them. Yep. You know, yep. you don't want to push on it. Glass headlights. What do you think of this thing? It's neat. I mean, it's just, you don't I mean, it. yeah, I can't think of the last time I've seen one. You know, what's funny is, you know, I, it's funny. I worked, uh, uh, I, I graduated in 87, right? So it's kind of my era. And then uh, I went to the Army for two years, come out, went to Wichita State. So I started working at a salvage yard. You know, and they okay. and foreign cars unlimited in Wichita. Uh -huh. I don't know if you ever heard of it or not. Yeah, I, they were yeah. around <laughs> since like the, the 70s. And uh, so what's interesting is I got out, I, I come to go to Wichita State and I started uh, working in the salvage yard, foreign cars. So all these cars of this era were coming into the salvage yard, mm -hmm. you know, when I was a kid. So they all made these impressions on me, right? And uh, so he had tons of 626s coming in. You know, I saw all these 80s cars coming in, crashed for parts. But the thing is, though, is like, even with him doing all of those cars, I don't remember a tube, a coupe stick. Your dad had one, but it was a four-door. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, a, a coupe turbo, and then that it's a manual transmission, yeah. is such a rare little beast. Was your dad's manual or automatic? The black one. I mean, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, and probably not turbo. Was it turbo? <laughs> yes. Oh, it was turbo. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, look at here, Becky. But it was an 89. Okay. Nine, yeah, 88, I think they made a little change. 88 was a new body style, if my memory serves me. Right. It, uh huh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. It even has some air. I did not even look at that. Yeah. So she was going to drive it to work and getting in and out of it is not that fun. Yeah, and you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like driving it. Yeah. It's a it's a weekend toy, run to run to cars and coffee or something like that. Yeah. As far as daily in it, you know, I mean you could. You know, you definitely could. <laughs> Antique tag. Sixty six well, we turbo. Acquired from parents vehicles. So uh -huh. now we have five vehicles and we don't need that. Yeah, I can see, yeah, that's kind of uh getting a little more than what you need. Well, <laughs> yeah, five. Counting them up. Huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> one's a work truck. You guys should be out on the motorcycle yeah, right now. Yeah. Yes. Yep. You know, I remember when so those Valkyries came out. Man, that was We've something had that else. A long time. We've had that long time. Oh yeah. I remember when those came out. You know, basically it's kinda of like a straight down bowling, you know. And uh, I had a Brand new. I That's a neat bike. And, uh, and that yeah. Intruder was the fastest thing on the road until that thing yeah. came out. <laughs> and then that thing would... Uh, we, we had a Harley before that. Yeah. It was just too small. This yeah. Is, but the thing is, yeah. that thing's like so, so smooth, yeah. so comfortable. Nice. Exactly. If she didn't ride, I'd go back and buy a Harley. But she yeah. Ride, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to think of the way people. Yep. Well, they just need two bikes. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I don't even want to say, uh, I, got, I got like, what, six bikes maybe right now? I've lost count. Lost count? Uh -oh. Yes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm getting yeah, myself in trouble. Get in trouble. trouble. Yeah. We like to go ride, though. We do yeah, go ride. We haven't. Yeah, what, you mind if we take it around the block nope. here? Go ahead. All right, well, let's jump in, babe. I gave you keys. Yep, I got them right here. Fender Forks, Air Works. <laughs> Great. The articulating vents work. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. That actually scared me when I first came. <laughs> <laughs> I started blowing some leaves. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, like the, the car's yeah. possessed. I didn't even know it had that. <laughs> Best I way if you, if you want to ride the, go the highway is go back here. Oh, I'll just go out here and just kind of. Well, you, but but you can go that way. Oh, okay, it's better than this. Way. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's check it out. Be right back. Yeah, this thing is nice. This thing is super nice. I mean, just, I mean, consider this is 1986, you know, I mean, it is incredible. I just cannot believe the, uh, look at the factory radio with EQ. He said the AC is cold, 51,000 miles. I mean, look at the, look at the color on the gauges. I mean, there's no, I mean, there's that little bit of, uh, you know, on the back seat, you know, but I mean, that's just to be expected. But what's crazy is it's it's really not like it's not like it's been sun baked, you know. Right. And they're the door panels. I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. <laughs> just look at it. Just look geeking, at it. Geeking out. Man. I know. But Power it is, windows. It is. Real it's cool. nice. Yeah. It is really cool. So let's fire this little guy up. The doors are solid. Man. I mean, it's just interesting cars of the of the 80s, you know. Because, I mean, in some ways, they're kind of... Oh, ugh, I was going for the, the oh, recline. Yeah. 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 Well. It has the drop seat. You know, in, in some ways, I mean, they're they're kind of cheap, flimsy cars. But in other ways, the uh, engineering was uh, was fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they they were all you needed and not more, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. what makes them, that's what makes them wonderful. They're overly complicated. Exactly. Yeah, just exactly. Good dependable transportation. Yes, very much so. All right, I think he said go right, didn't he? Uh, I think so. Uh, I don't remember for sure. <laughs> Looky, look, look down here. Look, look down here. Watch these vents. Look, they're oscillating. What in the world? Yeah, yeah. You see it? Oh my gosh. They're automatic that's oscillating trippy. vents. That is crazy. I didn't know crazy. there was. That's cool. Isn't that neat? I ain't Let's never seen such a Let's check the tunes here. Look thing. at the EQ. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. The original radio works on it. Here, I'll hit the AC button. Why not? Let's see. Well, it's a nice day. Oh, my gosh. It just got cold immediately. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. It's R12, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. He said it's original. They haven't charged it. Oh, and, wow. oh wait a minute. Look here. Uh, Look, we got auto adjusting suspension. suspension. No way. That is unbelievable. <laughs> this is a unicorn. You are I'm geeking afraid. out. For I real. know. Well, I'm just a geek. <laughs> oh, I think he said go to the highway left. Yeah, I think it's uh, something like that. I'm not very familiar with this town. Oh uh, yeah, we never really been, never here. Really been here. Hardly at all. No, it's any. a nice, neat little town. Yeah. Right, transmission feels good. The uh, shifter's a little bit uh, floppy, a little floppy. wobbly, just a bushing or linkage or something. But yeah. man, is it smooth or what? And here's what's interesting. Okay, I was just, I had it in sport mode. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Okay, and it was bouncy, stiff, uh -huh. right? And now it just softened up. You could tell the difference. I heard something. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Now you feel it got stiff? Yeah. The freaking sport mode suspension is working. I didn't, I'm just incredible. surprised it even has that, aren't you? I would you have thought it would have adjustable suspension on and this car? It, and that it works. Well, yeah, that's for that sure. That is but, insane. Yeah. This car is so cool. Look, we got our little tilt steering wheel. I'm going to let it warm up just a hair, yeah. you know. Like this it, is a really good little car. Wow, power windows, sunroof. Dude, if you had this car, Whoa! Hey, I, I mean, I barely squeezed little the floor. That snappy, little snappy little dude. That little torque that just built what right does away. What this thing weigh? Probably nothing. <laughs> uh, Twenty six hundred pounds, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's not a stick much. And... Yeah. Oh man, I love this thing. Wow. How cool is what this? What does this give you? 
get mileage wise, I wonder. Oh, I'm 30 miles a gallon. Jeez, what, I'm a, sure. what a wonderful little Yeah, dude. and he put brand new tires on it, and then uh, he said that uh, he put a new tank in it because um, there was a, a receipt. He's got lots of receipts and records mm. on the car, but they said something about rust in the tank or something. Yeah. And so instead of cleaning it, he just put a new tank in it. Oh, I love those oscillating vents. That is so cool. Uh, that, that is crazy. Oh, cruise control. Cruise control. Hold on. Does it work? Surely not. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where's the... How do I turn it oh, on? Right here. Oh, there it is. That's our set. And... Resume. Probably don't know how to... Oh, there's cruise control. Look. <laughs> and look, look, at the, look at this thing. It's driving straight down the road. My goodness. I'm not even touching anything. My goodness. Cruise control what a works. Jewel. It really is. What a neat little car. Wow. He got it, you know, he bought it. It's interesting. It was fun talking to his wife. Yeah. The fact that, you know, she, she actually she grew up in one there. of these. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know, these cars, like, you got to kind of appreciate the nostalgia. You know, um, you know, the modern cars definitely got a lot more comfort, a lot more creature conveniences and stuff like that. Personally, I just, I love these old cars. Yeah. I, I would have no problem daily driving this oh, car. Yeah, I would have either. no problem at all yeah. in a heartbeat. I would enjoy it. But, uh, you know, everybody's different. Oh, yeah, you know? for sure. But this is an incredible little survivor. I am really impressed. It is everything that I hoped it would be and more. Yeah. I mean, a couple little dings, and I tell you what, yeah. man, when Van Gogh gets a hold of this, uh, you know, we yeah. uh, PDR a couple dings and polish yeah. it out, and then I do my detail on the interior and engine bay. Look out. This thing is beauty. Here we go. Let's go. You ready? Okay, yeah. Uh, the green light boost lights up. This okay. is a no-brainer. Yep, no We are definitely I like no-brainers. Yeah. Those are good. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, he knows what he has, and, I, <laughs> you know, he's not taking a penny less. And uh, honestly, you know, uh, it's just basically shut up and take my money. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. So, all right. Well, let's go pay the man and get yep. the title and get back on the road, and then I got another fun little 80s turbo car. Oh, boy. Oh it's like God. Christmas. Come early yeah. for oh, yeah. Garraway's Pop. You know, I'm going to be at shift for like five hours working on this car. Yep, I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow or see you whenever. All right. Well, I tell you what, that thing looks good. I've got some guys that uh, do PDR and polish and touch up and everything. And I think this car, I think this car will turn out to be a nice car. So... I will take it, sir. Okay, I appreciate you. it. Thanks. I for... appreciate you, but I like what you do. Yeah, <laughs> I like what you're telling me about. You know, oh yeah, yeah. that's why it's so much fun, you know. Because even you know, I just I like finding these cars and kind of rescuing them and saving them, you know. Because you know what can happen? You could have some teenage kid come along buy it and they just blow it up in a month. That's, I have had a couple of kids. Yeah, it, and, mm -hmm. and then you know, and they're going to tear it up. They are. They're going to tear don't it up. Don't appreciate how you, cool it is. Right. <laughs> the guy that really wanted it's from out of state. Yeah. And, and he's a, he's big into Mazda group, so I oh, I know yeah. what he's going to do too. He, yeah, yeah. You know, he just likes the car, and I wouldn't mind selling it to him either. But, right, but then there's but, just yeah. so much more like logistics. There is a lot of cars I find out of town, and uh, you know they end up selling it to somebody local just because dealing with out of town is always a lot of hoops. Oh, he, I mean, th this guy said he'd hand, you know, yeah, he had everything lined up. Yeah, I'll well, well, see, I'll well, see. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've won I'd and rather, I've lost. On I'd rather sides. sell it to somebody face to face. Right, and, exactly, because. You know, the problem with selling cars is you never know what they expect. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. I tell you, I could take a car like this and one customer will come up and just be like, this thing is mint. And, and, and then somebody else is going, oh my gosh, yeah. there's a scratch. You yeah. know, and I'm like, do you realize how old this car is? It's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I mean, like, yeah. do you realize how amazing it's as good as it is? Is that many yeah. years yeah. old? Yeah, I know, yes. I know. So, well, years old. you got the title yep. and we'll uh, get you and some cash people. and get on the road. Well, Becky's getting the title work done, and gentleman's counting his cash. And we were just talking about this, all the features. This thing's got headlight washers. Look at that little guy. What a neat little car. <laughs> Becky's like, I'm driving this thing. Well, we dropped the Thunderbird off at the shop, 
you know, because sometimes we end up getting, we gotta shuffle cars back and forth because sometimes our driveway gets full of cars. So everybody's out having fun today. And you know, we thought, you know, what the heck? Uh, so me and Becky, we jump into the Mazda and we're just gonna take it home and then we're gonna enjoy a nice little taco truck outside meal. So ordered some enchiladas, which are really good here. And uh, we're just gonna have a nice little outdoor lunch and get this sucker to the house. But I think uh, I think it's gonna make it, don't you? <laughs> well, hey everybody, thanks for traveling along. Like and subscribe if you would. You never know when you might have your next dream car. Have you good. 48, 48. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> well, have a great day and <laughs> I'm training her well.